Last time um, we finished this chapter, everything except for the summary slide. And that saved you from one homework. But anyway, the summary of this whole chapter is that um, SSL is basically used um, with HTTP and it provides the security at the transport layer. And um, so there are several protocols that we talked about at the transport layer. SSH is one of them. SSL is, is, is more common of them, right? So SSL um, is also called TLS because once the SSL became popular, they standardized it and the standard version is no longer compatible with the old version, so it is called version 3.1. It had four protocols, handshake for negotiation of the crypto, chain cipher, anybody remembers what chain cipher was for? Nobody remembers that in the whole class? Yeah, exactly. So just one, one, one white command it simply says, let's use it now. Then the alert protocol clearly for error conditions and are any other conditions which are, which happen during the communication. And the really the main protocol is record protocol, which does the encryption and, authentic and message authentication. So HTTPS, um, is simply SCT for SSL, so there is nothing special about it, it is just a new protocol port number. Then we talk about SSH, and SSH provides remote login, and again, and, and instead of four, it comes up three protocols, authentication, which is very similar to the handshake, connection, and the, and the transport. Transport is like record, and the connection is used to set up channels for which there is no equivalent here. But basically you can have many, many channels um, in a single connection, in a single SSH connection. And, um, and then some of these channels can be used for tunneling, where tunneling is the port forwarding. So you can uh, forward some ports on a remote machine to SSH and make it, make it um, uh, protected secure. Even if the application is insecure and does not require any change from the application, only thing is that the client has to send it to a particular port on the local machine and then it forwards it from there. Right? Anybody has any question about TLS, SSL? And since you did not do the homework, actually if you have done the homework then you would have learned all this. Um, but anyway, there is a homework here which now technically due on next Monday, but it will not be due because next Monday is the exam, right? Now many of you may not be taking the exam, but it is still important to do this homework because these things will keep coming back and back and back. If you don't read about SSL or TLS and, and then we come back to WTLS or something like that, so they will be in the third part of the exam. So it's better to not just stop. So anyway, and just like the previous one, if you do it before Wednesday, then Wednesday, we, if you have any question, you can ask me about this homework. Okay. Any question about this chapter before we move on to the next one? <coughs> 